Welcome back. Self-driving cars in the spotlight in the wake of a fatal Uber crash in Arizona that killed a woman crossing the street. According to a new report, that self-driving car detected the woman but decided not to react immediately. Now, just two months after the accident, self-driving cars are on the road on a major highway in Florida where members of the public can test it out. Matt Finn is in Tampa. He has more on that. Matt, good morning to you. Good morning, Maria. Well, at any moment, this self-driving car is going to hit this major Florida highway behind us, going up to 50 miles per hour with members of the public in it. But for demonstration purposes, we wanted to show you just how driverless this car is. The driver has a cup of coffee, no hands on the steering wheel, and an executive from the robotics company has been jumping in front of the car to prove that it stops. We spoke to a 92-year-old man and his grandson who are in this car on the highway, and here's what that man had to say. What are your thoughts as we are about to embark on this journey? Well, it's, that's what we're supposed to do is have something new. And in our country, you have a chance to do that. Would you buy one of these cars and let it drive you around? If I had the money, I would. Now through Friday, robotics companies and researchers teamed up with the city of Tampa and engineers are interviewing people before and after and will compile data about how people in the public feel about these cars. This tech is not hitting the roads tomorrow. It could be decades. But engineers say just like cell phones have changed our lives, these cars can too. This particular model includes a combination of safety, including cameras, radar, and laser imaging. They're really focused on the exterior of the car. For example, that woman who walked in front of the car in Arizona. They're trying to prevent that from ever happening again. Maria, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you so much. We'll be following this important story 